Hi everybody, I am back with the ribbon binding tutorial. I figured I would um, stop the video where I was and do this because some people might only need the ribbon tutorial. Um, they might not need a full scrapbook tutorial or vice versa. Okay, so we're, what we're gonna do is I, I like to use tool for my ribbon binding. I like to use a nice sheer ribbon. Um, sometimes I use satin. Anything nice and pliable. I tend to stay away from the gross grain ribbons because they're a little bit thicker and they don't lay as nice and, and fluffy and stuff when I do mine. But believe me, it's personal preference. You can do whatever you want. Um, I like to use two strips of tulle. You don't need to measure this out, but it's basically an inch and a half thick um, in width and it's probably six inches long. We're going to be cutting this down though. Um, so what I like to do, I use two, one on top of the other because it makes it nice and strong. And I basically twist the ends, put it in my um, tweezers, and then I feed it through the holes. And pull it through on the other side. So then once you have all of your ribbon in, just kind of pull it back and forth. What I do is you're basically making a loop of ribbon and you want you don't want to tie this tight against the edge of your album because when you go to open your album you want to have some leeway here. You don't want to have it so tight that you can't open your album or when you go to decorate it it lays like that. You don't want that. So you're basically making a loop with your ribbons. So what I like to do is get myself a pen and I usually use my jelly roll pen. Um, but you can use whatever you want. And I'm going to butt it up against the edge of the ribbon here. Okay. So I'm going to grab my bottom pieces and my top pieces and I'm going to tie a knot against the pen. Okay, you guys see what I just did? And then what I do, because you want it to stay, don't want it to come undone, I use some fabri -Tac. I put a little dot of fabri -Tac there and I will double knot it. I will go through and I will tie it again right against that pen. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing all the way down. In the middle here, take my pieces, tie them against the pen, add a little, not a lot, because you don't want this stuff sticking out on you, little dot fabri tack in there, in the center of that knot. And then I take the tool and I double knot it. I try, you know, tie a knot again right over that fabric tack, and that's going to seal it in. And then I'm going to do it again to this one. And then I'll show you how we created a loop because I'm going to tie, um, I'm actually going to tie some more tool on here and also I like to tie on some fun fur. Okay, so I put my fabric tack. I'm going to tie my second knot. Okay, and I'm going to pull out that pen. So we just created, if you can see in here, we just created a nice loop, which is great because we need that excess room to decorate and open up our album. Now I like to make sure my knots are on the outside and not against anything. Okay. And I cut myself some gold tool, which I have here, and it has a nice shimmer to it. And I just cut myself some strips. And sometimes I like to fold them in half. These are six inches. I fold them in half to three inches. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my tweezer. I'm going to run it in that loop. Okay. 
So you guys see I'm in this loop now. I'm going to run it in that loop and I'm going to double knot it. So I'm going to tie a nice tight knot and then I'm going to do it again. Okay, so now I have some gold there and I'm going to keep doing that and then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to add gold to the back of the loop. And then I'm going to go in probably with some of this orange fun fur and I'm going to take it and I'm going to tie my knots again until I get a look similar to this where it has nice puffy tulle, it has some fun fur in here and it just gives you a nice fun look to your album. Okay, so that's how I do my ribbon binding, guys. I will be back in a few days with my decorated album and my finished ribbon binding for my personal Cricut Challenge so you all can see the finished album. But for the most part, we're completely done and you guys can have fun now decorating yours and let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, I'll be back in a few days because I'm having my oral surgery done tomorrow morning so it will definitely take me a few days to recoup um, but once I'm done recuperating I will be back to finish this album thank you guys so much for watching have fun making yours take care